Hello everybody, happy Friday. Welcome back to the channel. I am Aziza, AKA Gourmet Pens. Today, we are doing something that is both nibby and inky. This has nothing to do with what we're doing. What we are doing is kind of a comparison chit chat about three different pilot nibs. And I have done blog posts in the past about one of these nibs, so the music nib, I think. Uh, yes, in a Symphony of Tynes blog post, I'm going to write that down so I remember to add it to the notes description. Symphony, Symphony of Tynes, I can't speak. And today we are doing the music stub, the coarse nib, which is also a double broad, but is not the same thing as a double broad according to Pilot. There are two different ones. And the new signature nib. The signature nib was released a really long time ago. Well, not a really long time ago, but it was discontinued for a while and they have brought it back and I was gifted one by a very dear friend. And so I'm really excited to share this with you because I wanted to get one and I just didn't. And then this opportunity came up. And so thank you, Morali, for this gift. I'm really excited to do this. I really like Pilot Nibs and they have an exquisite selection. So one of the companies that I like, one of the reasons I like Mont Blanc is because there is a big range of nibs. It's not always easy to get one because sometimes their supply is weird or they cost an arm and a leg and a kidney, but they do make them. Aurora does a lot of nice nibs. Pelican used to. Sailor does a decent amount, but I have to say, in terms of being accessible to the market and having a variety of nibs, Pilot is doing a really good job. So these are three of my favorite nibs. So I will, what I want to do is write with them. I'll show you the nibs, I'll write with them, and then kind of talk about how each one feels. So if you're looking to get one of these nibs, hopefully this will, video will kind of guide you in terms of the tipping feel and the writing experience and the line variation. So first up we have the music stub nib. This is, all three are number 10 size pilot nibs. Uh, this one is a two tine, no sorry, uh, two slit three tine music nib. So if you are thinking about something like the Sailor music nib, which has only one slit and two tines. Uh, this is the more traditional music nib style. And because it is a music stub, it is indeed quite stubby, as you can see from the tipping. And it's slightly on the crisp side. Then we have the new signature nib. I'm kind of doing these in order of, I don't know, something. There is no order. Um, also a number 10 nib. This is just a gold one. It is... It has the same like wide shoulder and then little tine shape. Does that make sense? Like this kind of shape that the music nib has. And it's a bit more round. I mean, quite a bit rounder. And as implied, it is really nice for signatures, but it's more of a round point. And last but not least, we have the Whopper. I said that on purpose, yes, a whopper. And this is the coarse nib. I bought this in, or from Japan. I was trying to decide between the coarse and the double broad and I did some research and apparently the coarse was broader and rounder than the double broad, which is exactly what I wanted. So I got the coarse. From what I understand, the double broad is not as round as the coarse. I don't have one, so I can't share it with you. I'm just telling you based on what I did when I was picking. So as I said, round, it is a blob. So it's kind of like the zoom nib of Sailor, but really, really, really round. And I really like it. It puts down a lot of ink. So if you are looking for something that's, sorry, I'm just lowering my chair. If you are looking for something that is not going to put down a lot of ink, I urge you not to get the coarse nib. Let's start with the music nib. So as I said, the music nib is uh, a stub shape and it does have the classic um, three tine, two slit that you 
come to see on music nibs, like on the vintage ones. And my only issue with this is that because of the shape of the tipping, it, it can skip. So you have to have it properly aligned on the page for it to not skip. And sometimes if you're writing fast, you can miss a corner of a letter. You'll see what I'm talking about. So let's do, I made that really ugly by writing on it. So we have pilot music. I'm currently writing with it rotated. So if I write with it straight on the page, you can already see the difference in the line variation, pilot, music, stub. So on the downstroke, when it's aligned properly, you get really nice lines. They're, they're quite crisp. And then the cross strokes are nice and thin. It's really very a lovely nib. I actually, this is actually my friends. And now that I'm writing with it again, I want one. <laughs> So it is crisp. It has some feedback. The ink flow is consistent, steady. It shows off shading really well. And if you care about what ink is in here, we have Sailor Yomogi, I believe it's called. Um, yes, from the Manual series. Okay, let's do the signature nib next. So we have, I'm gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna do an oblique and then I will write with it straight on. So we have pilot signature. Already the difference is this one is easier to write with, much more forgiving. It has that round shape, so it just kind of glides on the page. But what you sacrifice is the line variation. So on the downstroke, you have nice rounded ends. And on the side stroke, cross stroke, it's, it's basically the same thing. If you apply pressure to any of these nibs, you will get a wetter line. They're definitely slightly yielding, but absolutely not flex nibs as they should not be. They're just slightly yielding. And I think that's part of the experience, like the writing experience. Uh, this one is like a 10 out of 10 on the juicy scale, significantly juicier than the music. And this ink is um, Robert Oster, Sydney, Darling Harbor. Yes, I could have used all the same inks. That is very boring for me, so I did not. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't know what ink I have in this one. It's kind of like a mix. Uh, anyways, what we have here is, oh, I'm running out of space. I chose a, a big notebook today, but as it turns out, it has its limitations. We have the uh, whopping pilot course. When I write with this, I truly think that this is a whale of a nib. So there we have it on the oblique. Here we have pilot course. This thing is smooth. It is round. It is so juicy that on some pages it bleeds, which is shocking because I also have it set up as an eyedropper. So there is that. But it is very round. It is consistent no matter what way you're writing with it. So that's what that big blob of tipping is doing. It's giving you a, a monoline and no matter or at, at any angle. So let's do that. <laughs> it's very juicy. If this is say a six out of 10 on the juicy scale and this one is a, you know what? Let's say this is a nine out of 10. This one's like a 13 out of 10. It's so juicy that on my Tomo, it's feathering a little bit. Some people hate that, I do not. It's also a function of the fact that this is like three different inks in this pen and I don't know what they are. So ink, question mark. It doesn't really matter because it's the juiciest around. So we're gonna turn the page and let's just do, let's do some I don't know, let's just do some writing. So let's say, oh 
I'm going to do three alphabets. So we have the music stub. This one, I'm just going to write music. This one actually does pass the freeway, like it does write on its own. I apply a bit of pressure because I like the way it shades with a bit of pressure. But when you apply a bit of pressure, you are increasing the chances of the tines not hitting the page properly. And, and in that case, you get more skips. So if you're writing slowly and applying a bit of pressure, like I did with the alphabet, it'll work. If you're writing fast with this nib, it's less likely to work. I think it's a really good nib for practicing calligraphy, doing flourishes, like fancying it up a bit. I wouldn't necessarily use it for note taking. The signature nib is super forgiving. Nice and smooth. You can write fast with it. It doesn't skip. The ink flow is just really high and consistent. No skips, no hard starts. It's really a, de a delightful nib. Signature, and then we do free weight. The free weight is fantastic, except for the fact that I made it really ugly. And let's do the course, which is the whale nib. Smooth, round, monoline, heavy ink flow, <laughs> really fun for inky messes, which is truly what I use it for. And course. I actually don't know what the intent behind the course nib is, but I really enjoy it. I have a lot of fun with it for like smearing ink, spreading ink, adding ink to lettering when I just want to make it a little more colorful. For me, that's how I use it and that's how I enjoy it. So what we have is here is uh, the music variation. Here we have the signature variation. So it's really insignificant difference. And here we have the course variation. And there's no variation. It's just a whopper, no matter which way you look at it. OK, let's do some side writing. I think that might help you see the tipping and how it like contacts the page a bit and then we will come back and wrap up. I hope that was fun for you. I enjoy it. 
I really enjoyed doing this video because for me, this is like the highlight of the fountain pen world. It's nibbage and uh, just seeing how different nibs write and the line variation and character. So for me, this has been absolutely delightful and I hope you've learned something. I hope it's been helpful for you. If you have any videos you would like to see on particular nibs, please let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I will say adieu. Thank you all so much for watching and thank you for following along on the Gourmet Pens channel. You know the deal. I'd love it if you'd like and subscribe, etc, etc. I'm sorry I have to say it, but you know, I would appreciate it. And if you want to share this with anyone, that would be really cool too. Otherwise, I will see you on the next video. Take care, everybody. Have a wonderful weekend and ink responsibly.